Munetaka Murakami of the Tokyo Yokult Swallows just had one of the greatest months in the history of Japanese professional baseball. In 23 games across the month of June 2022, the young superstar posted a 410 batting average, 515 on base percentage, 940 slugging percentage, and a 1455 OPS with 14 home runs and 35 runs batted in. At just 22 years old, Murakami is an absolute beast. He is the undisputed best hitter in all of Japan right now. So let's take a deep dive into his monster month. But before we get going, I'd like to announce that I recently started an MPB podcast called Rake in Japan, and I'm hoping to invite some guests soon. So if you like my channel or you like podcasts, please check it out for free over on my Patreon or Spotify. When Murakami was drafted in 2017 out of high school, he was regarded as a top prospect, but he didn't get anywhere near the hype of fellow left-handed slugger Kotaro Kiyomiya. But while Kiyomiya struggled to elevate his talents to the next level, Murakami was quickly developing, hitting 17 home runs in 98 games down on the Swallows farm team in 2018. He even got the call up to the first team at the very end of the season and hit his first career home run. The following season, he put his raw power on full display, hitting 36 home runs and 143 games with an 814 OPS and 113 weighted runs created plus en route to the Central League Rookie of the Year award. Now, Murakami still had flaws in his game, particularly in his inability to consistently make contact as he struck out 184 times, an MPB record for a Japanese-born player but he was showing all the tools of an up-and-coming superstar, and he's been improving his game every single year, increasing his walk rate, lowering his strikeout rate, and just continuing to mash. In 2020, Murakami posted 28 home runs with a 10-12 OPS and a WRC Plus of 167, and in 2021, he won the Central League Most Valuable Player Award with 39 homers, a 974 OPS, and a 176 WRC Plus en route to winning a Japan Series title. So going into the 2022 season, Murakami was already regarded as one of the best hitters in the league. In fact, both myself and Slugger Magazine placed him as the second overall position player in all of Japan in our preseason rankings, just behind Yuki Yanagita. And he got off to an excellent start this season with a 271 batting average, 982 OPS, and 15 home runs at the end of May. So he was already replicating his MVP numbers, but few could have expected just how monstrous of a June he had in store. In the first game of the month, Murakami drew four walks, including two intentional passes, and didn't record a single official at-bat in the game. In fact, he didn't even get a hit for the first three games of the month, going 0 for 6 with six walks and three strikeouts. He finally hit his first homer of the month on June 4th, before hitting another on June 10th and two more the next day on June 11th. By the end of interleague play on June 12th, Murakami was killing it, raising his batting average all the way up to 295 in the span of just two weeks, but halfway through the month, he was still sitting on just four long balls. And then, as league play resumed, Murakami just became a god among men. He crushed two home runs on June 19th, then put up yet another multi-homer game on June 23rd, going 4 for 5 that day with 6 RBIs, including his fourth Grand Slam of the season. I was actually on the train home near Jingu Stadium where the Swallows play that night, and I remember a group of 5 or 6 Swallows fans entering the train talking about just how amazing Murakami is. But he wasn't done yet, blasting two more homers the following day, and then capping off the month with homers on June 26th and 27th, and his fifth multi-homer game of the month on June 29th for good measure. Now, he did end up wearing a golden sombrero in the very last game of the month, proving that even immortals are humans on some days. But by the end of the month, Murakami had put up one of the greatest months in the history of Nippon professional baseball, setting the record for RBIs in the month of June with 35, and just 5 away from breaking the all-time record in any month with 40 ribbies. Murakami batted over 400, got on base at over a 500 clip, and slugged above 900 with an OPS approaching 1500. 
and in that time frame he raised his batting average from 271 to 315, upped his OPS from 982 to 1132, and nearly doubled his home run total from 15 to 29. Just absolutely insane stuff. It seems almost impossible to beat, but many of you may recall Seiya Suzuki of the Hiroshima Carp had a similar month of September last year. In what was effectively his farewell tour in Japan, Suzuki just went off, hitting 381, 500, 917 with a 1417 OPS and 13 jacks. So how about we examine Murakami and Suzuki's incredible runs side by side. Now the clutch hit statistic is basically defined by Baseball Data Japan as a hit that either ties the game or gives the team the lead, so it isn't a perfect stat by any means, but it's quite interesting so I thought I'd throw it in there. And as you can see, on the whole, Murakami has Suzuki beat ever so slightly in every category, though Suzuki struck out less and walked more. But again, when I say ever so slightly, I really mean it. Suzuki had an absolute torrid month, so this really says a lot about just how unbelievable Murakami was this past month. And when you consider that the balls are deadened in MPB this season, well, I think it's enough to say that Murakami's June 2022 is definitively better than Suzuki's September 2021, though of course we do need to consider some other factors. For instance, Murakami has more protection in the lineup now than Suzuki did. Yasutaka Shiomi was the second best hitter in the league after Murakami this past month, and Tetsuto Yamada and Jose Osuna were also great, so Murakami definitely had quite a bit of help around him. And for those wondering how Suzuki followed up his historic September, well, he quote-unquote cooled off and posted a 1163 OPS with six homers in October. So I'm sure Murakami won't be able to replicate his June, but we may very well be in for quite the encore in July. I just wonder why opposing pitchers still pitch to this guy. And at the moment, he's on pace for 56 homers and 150 RBIs this season, which would just shatter his preseason goal of hitting over 300 with 40 plus bombs and 100 plus RBIs. Special thanks to my patrons, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Packrat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Ping, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Yua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Shar Asnable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garavay, Yuki Samarine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi Kim, J1, Tom Musa, Mike Braun, Lucas Bora, Stu22, Alex Irish, Marty Mercury, and PB Cow98. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more MPB content in English.